Thank you all for joining the Andrew 26101 show, by the way. Those of y'all who are new, hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. Go ahead and subscribe to my second game channel. I know normally I don't post things like this. Usually I would post things like this on a game channel, but you know, I don't got too many subscribers on there. So insert coin is my second game channel. I'm going to start posting some new game shit on there. So definitely subscribe to that channel if you haven't. Uh, follow me on Instagram. I'm always on Instagram, at least for the most part. And also Twitter, man. So here's the thing. PlayStation 5 had their release date, which was scheduled for uh, Tuesday. Now, GameStop and other sites such as Target and uh, Best Buy also had these uh, sign notifications where they will keep you guys updated on when they will release the launching of the Sony PlayStation 5, right? There was a lot of people who were pretty pissed off after what happened. Now, here's what's, here's the thing. Sony trolled us all as well as the marketers, but I'll have to say it's really It's really to deal with the marketers, retailers. It has nothing to really do with Sony itself. But anyways, I was one of the few thousands of people who actually signed up for the notification. Uh, so what the notification does, it allows you to be able to get first dibs on the pre-orders on the PlayStation 5. Now, here's the thing. Alright, PS5 was released, has a release date, design, uh specifics and news and shit like that that they okay so anyways make a long story short i'm sorry i'm, I'm all dyslexic right now but november the 12th is the release date november the 12th 2020 is the re release date of the playstation 5 consoles here's the thing in order for you to get a copy of the playstation 5 you have to sign up uh for notifications in order for you to do pre-orders here's what happened man i think it was really effing shitty okay of playstation to do all right so i'm just going to read this right here it says ps5 is sony's long-awaited new generation console and the cost is going to be 499 dollars um uh, says we have got full ps5 details for you below including details breakdowns on pricings and availability so read on to find out everything you need to know about playstation 5 but anyways we checked over 130 million products every day for, to see the best prices on the PlayStation 5. There's really not much left to know about PS5, which is good because you can now start planning which version you're going to get. Now, PlayStation 5 has the uh, wireless disc and also the disc that you guys can do. So the wireless, I, I mean, not the wireless, did I say wireless disc? I'm sorry. Um, the downloadable where you can download the contents, you know, the video games and all that other shit instead of actually buying the actual video games like hard drive it, it you can download it to your hard drive and all that now me personally I don't know about you guys But me personally if I'm gonna buy a game system. I like to be able to get the games I like to be able to get the games because you never know later on you might want to you know trade them in and all that other stuff well, there's some Video clips as you guys can see of Call of Duty, and, you know, Spider-Man, and all types of other games that are coming out soon for PlayStation 5 as well as Resident Evil 8, and etc. But anyways, <sighs> PS5 to me, I, I think is a very difficult looking console, you know, I don't really like the color of it. Uh, for what I was told, it's going to be a black edition, which I'll probably most likely get. But here's the thing, I'm not really too into the PlayStation 5, I'm not that crazy over trying to get my hands on it, and to be quite honest with you, um, I wouldn't mind flipping it, you know, and people, there's people as you can see, well I'm going to show you, show you some clips and just a minute of people who actually uh, try to buy the system and flip it and try to scam people, but anyways, PS5 is very 
different looking console to PS4 with a space edgy black and white color scheme looking a little different to PlayStation of the past, you know, when the original PlayStation 1 came out. There's more than one PS5 console releasing this year, though. As Sony has also confirmed, it's going to be releasing a PS5 Digital Edition. That's what I meant to be talking about. It's like a stream thing, you know, when you just stream things, you know, stream video games and movies and all that other shit. Finally, we know a lot about the PS4 uh, specs. Thanks to Sony's first March reveal event-led system, Mark Sirini, C- 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 whatever the fuck his name is, discussed the PS5 system uh, um, agriculture revealing the inner workings of the PS5. We'll cover them and below and all those other aspects. All right, see, I'm not going to get really too into this, man, because I'm just going to speak on this and why I'm pissed off like everybody else, okay? So anyways, like everybody else has done, you know, people have signed up for PlayStation 5. You know, you got your PS5, which is $499 for the actual console, and the digital edition is $399 because you get to download games on there, you know. So you're saving yourself 100 bucks. If you go digital. Now, me personally, I wouldn't go digital because I like to have my games in hand with me. You never know what might happen with a system, system meltdown, something shuts down and shit. And you can't receive all those games that you downloaded. You know, that's going to be, that's going to be some shit. But hey, it is what it is. But man, let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you why it's a waste of time even bothering getting yourself a PS5 right now. Now, it has a dual sensor wireless controller. Okay, whoop-de-doo. That's good. Like every other controller does have, even in the past. But anyways, here's the thing that I'm pissed off with, with Sony, man. Okay, just like everybody else, and especially with uh, what's going on with this whole PS5 pre-order mess. Okay, so Tuesday on the 17th of September was supposed to be the official launch date of the PS5. But here's the thing. Okay. This is what retailers were doing. Okay. They actually got the consoles in before. Early. Before the launch release date. Which was the 17th of September. Which was yesterday. Okay. So what they decided. to do, So they got it actually on the 16th. They got it like a day early. So retailers got it on a day early. Now. This is Walmart. Walmart was on some bitch assness, okay, so pretty much, Sony says the release council date will be on the the, eight, the 17th, so everybody was prepared, as well as myself, was prepared to do their pre-orders, now they said that pre-orders won't be available until the 17th, until they release it, that's what Sony said, They said sign up for the notification so that way you guys could be able to get your first dibs on this new generation console. So I went ahead and placed in my orders. Was I going to sell my PlayStation 5? Possibly so. I was just going to buy one or maybe two just to make a little extra cash. Maybe $200 extra what I was making. But I'm going to show you the ridiculous prices of eBay and what these motherfuckers was putting up on here. Hold on for a second, man. Um, So anyways, here's the deal. PlayStation. Sony itself released the consoles to these retailers like Target, Best Buy, GameStop. They released the, the these these consoles to these retailers many many hours before the launching date. Okay, Walmart just couldn't. They they just couldn't couldn't couldn't. Walmart just couldn't wait. Okay. Walmart just couldn't wait. Walmart pretty much said, fuck it. Make you wait to get the new PS5? Nah, that's not like us. Go on and pre order right now. You see what I'm saying? This is what fucked up. This is what fucked up a lot of people who actually preserved the notification for them to pre-order now they said they kept on Sony kept on saying and 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 Walmart and Target and other any other all these retailers were saying you better sign up sign up sign up because you don't know 
when you're going to receive this notification. That way you can, guys can get the pre-orders of the PS5. So here's the thing. Here's what Walmart, these dickheads have done, right? To fuck up the whole the whole marketing shit. But hey, they, they were just trying to get an advantage over other competitors. I get it. I understand it. But at the same time, it's shitty as hell to the consumers or the people who actually sign up for this notification actually participating and waiting for the launch date to be actually on the 17th when it actually was the 16th. So Walmart just said, fuck it. We're going to go ahead and put the PS5 out early so we could get first dip. So these motherfuckers put out the PlayStation 5 on the 16th early. And guess what? Uh, Target saw that shit. GameStop saw that shit. So they said, fuck it, let's just release ours early because we need, we need to get that money. See, they didn't give a shit about the consumers. They didn't even really care about the people who actually took their time to sign up for the PlayStation 5 a long time ago to get the notification to do the pre-orders. Because we were on the impression if you don't sign up early, you cannot get yourself a pre-order. So what these motherfuckers did, they went ahead and put up a post and say, hey, make you wait to get the new PS5? Nah, that's not like us. Go on and pre-order right now. Good God. When they saw this shit, they all rushed, rushed into the store to do the pre-orders. A lot of people were unaware of it. There was people probably working, all this other shit. Nobody knew about it. Come to find out, all pre-order, all pre-orders are sold out. All the consoles that they had on hold for the people who actually signed up for this shit lost dibs on it. Now, honestly, I think it's fucked up. You know, I think Sony needs to have some balls and say something and address this. I think that they should penalize Walmart, Target, Best Buy, and all these other stores who did not follow proper protocols. See, whenever, see, GameStops can't do shit like this, right? When it comes down to video games. See, this is what I don't understand. When GameStops is doing their, say, their pre orders on certain video games, right? These motherfuckers will have you waking up. All hours of the night, 12 o'clock in the morning, waiting in line just to get your copy of a new Call of Duty game, Resident Evil game, Gods of War, and all these other games that are just coming out. People got to stand in lines and shit for pre-orders. Or, or not pre-orders, but people who actually uh, bought the game or just, you know, did the pre-orders earlier. So they still got to stand outside just to get the goddamn game. Man. I understand there's a lot of people, but they got to they gotta do a limit, man. They got to do a limit on a lot of shit. I get it. But if you guys could do a limit on the PS5s, why can't y'all do it on the regular games that's coming out? See, the games you could buy. Oh, they're all free, but the consoles are just gone. Now Sony wants to say, oh, it's okay, folks. It's okay, folks. We'll go ahead and post more. There should be more consoles coming in later on in November. Okay. Should be, maybe, but at the same time, you're losing the faith in people now who actually signed up for your bullshit, so that way they can get themselves a copy of the new PlayStation 5. Now listen, was I going to sell one of those? I got to keep it real with you. Yeah, possibly. I don't want to keep the shit. I was probably going to sell one or two, but I wasn't going to set up for some ridiculous prices, man. I wasn't going, let me show you guys some ridiculous prices, man, like, Okay, first of all, I want, I want to read this shit. This bullshit first before we go ahead and get into uh, PlayStation 5 and their ridiculous bullshit-ass mess. Who's to blame? Are the marketers to blame or is Sony? Now, I'm going to tell you why I think it's a little bit of both. Just my honest opinion on it. I think Sony should be penalizing, Walmart especially. They should get penalized on some sales or some commissions and shit like that. As well as Target. I know I'm a, I'm a petty motherfucker, but I don't care. I just feel as a gamer myself, even though my intentions was possibly to sell the motherfucker, <laughs> just keeping it real, it doesn't matter. 
The principle of it is, is that I did what I was supposed to do as a loyal customer to your store. And I put in and signed up for my pre-order. And I was supposed to get a notification. I never got that. People who never even probably signed up for the shit didn't even didn't even sign up for a notification or pre-order. Now check this out. After months of fans waiting, Sony has finally revealed pre-order information for PlayStation 5 along with the price and release date for the generation console, which is launching November the 12th at $500 at the standard console and $400, okay? For the digital edition, PS5 went up for pre-orders earlier after yesterday, PS5 event, and since then, stocks has already sold out at most major retails like Best Buy, Walmart, and Target. We are tracking consoles availabilities below, and further down, you'll find links where you have to buy your PS4 accessories, yeah, 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 the, P the fucking PS4, PS, PS, did I say PS4, I'm sorry, PS5 accessories are always available, have you noticed that, that's all, that's all gone, man, look, look at this shit, digital, 400, 400, 400, 500, 500, listen, all these retailers, they didn't give a shit about the people, all they gave a fuck about was your money, because look at it, man, they can't wait, you gotta understand this whole corona shit has fucked up a lot of sales, this year might be the worst when it comes down to holiday season. I don't think people are going to be shopping that crazy like that. All possibility. See, this is why I say the government. Now, and I'm getting a little bit into politics. This falls into politics now. This is why I say when holiday seasons come and people are still out without jobs, they are going to issue out a stimulus package. And I'm calling it right now. It's going to be a big Stimulus package. That's why it's taking so long. And listen, the stimulus package could range anywhere from ten to twelve thousand dollars per household. Now, how you spend your money this holiday season? I hope that you use your money wisely, because I feel that a lot of people are gonna go out and buy mad shit and go crazy, go ape shit and go crazy. Everybody's gonna be in a happy mood because they got their money. Some people might be on some crazy, angry shit. I don't know. But my intent was like, oh, I like this little black cover of the PlayStation 5. That's pretty dope. See, I'll get me I'll get me a black one. You know what I'm saying? They got the black PlayStation 5 coming. I don't necessarily want the white one. That shit just look like a... Look at the way that PlayStation 5 look like, man. That shit look like a goddamn taco. Like, like, like you just put... That shit look like a chicken taco or some shit. Like a meat taco. Like the black part is the meat. Like, who the fuck thought about making this crazy ass, ugly ass looking shit? I'm sorry, man. The PS5 graphics look pretty, pretty decent. I mean, it's all right. I got to wait till more games come out. It's pretty decent. But I, I ain't too crazy over that shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know who fucking designed this fucking taco looking shit. But they need to do a better job. I've seen this robotic controller. That was a lot different for PS5. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, man, I swear to God, man, I got some neighbors. Like, this is why I can't wait to get a house, man. I can't wait to get a house. I got some neighbors above me, man, and they sound like they're going through the goddamn roof. Like, shit, I'm scared. But anyways, PS5 costs $500, the same price as Xbox Series X. The standard version contains a disk drive for playing physical games and is also backward capabilities. With the vast majority of PS4 games at launch, the PS Plus members gain the free access to PlayStation Plus collections. See, they do this shit like that. They did this shit before when PS3 came out and they put all the PS3 games on the 5. Listen, man, I'm going I'm to get to what I would do, but listen, it's up to you what you want to do. I'm not going to tell you what you, what you want to do. But all my experiences of, of buying PlayStation and Sony consoles, I've really realized that, you know, the consumers are the ones that really get screwed out of it. And usually I've learned that patience is always a virtue. But anyways, PlayStation 5 costs $500, yada, yada, yada. I was ready to say that, okay? Pre-orders of PlayStation 5 digital. No, this is $400. Okay, $70. Look at it, $60 for, for the digital camera. See, man, listen, man. Sony just trying to make their money. I get it. Do what you got to do. They even got payment plans, man. Trade-ins. GameStops is also offering payment plans. Listen, man. These guys are desperate for fucking money, man. 
because of the whole pandemic. Everybody's going crazy, and I get it. People got to make their money, and I'm not against it, according to reports. But, hey, retailers got to survive just like everybody else does. But we as people, we got to be smart. What do you really want to do with your money this holiday season? I'm just saying, you really want to spend that much money? Are people really going to spend it? Even if we don't get a stimulus package, right? Are you planning on buying a PlayStation 5 right now at a high price? Okay, Joe Biden's going to raise taxes. Yeah, we, we kind of know that. But listen, man, and they all fucking raise taxes. <laughs> but anyway, I'm not going to get too much oil into politics. I know this has a little bit to do with politics. But... If you look at it, man, I think the people got screwed out of this shit. I think me and you, the people who actually signed up for this shit, got screwed. Now, let's get to the PlayStation 5, man. Like, listen, man, it's four. Like, I'm looking over here at Best Buy. It's $499. Then they got a monthly uh, $27.78 monthly financing. Damn, see, these motherfuckers is really trying to get your money. Financing now. Let's just say you do a 18th month financing, right? 18 months. This is 27.78 a month, right? This is what it says, 27.78 a month. But see, people who don't have credit cards or people who are just planning on getting credit cards, do not get this shit with a credit card. Because listen, you're talking about increasing your amount, increasing your amount. All right. 18 months financing payment. You're probably, by the time you're done paying off this shit and only paying $27.78, you done already bought like six PlayStation 5s. <laughs> like, y'all don't believe me? Do the math, man. Do the motherfucking math, man, with all that interest and shit that they're gonna have. Mm. But here's the thing. Here's what they won't tell you. Included tax and shipping. Okay, that's not even the full price. But check this out. See, it says this way from 768 impact. Okay, so this is <laughs> wow. This is just a pre order, but this is the okay, that's a regular price. So it's a lot more. It's actually, see, okay, deliver from eBay. See, even eBay, see, eBay's charging more, man. See, these guys want $600, right? For $500 to $600 for the system. People are trying to make their little cut at it. I get it. People are trying to hustle. I get all that shit. Let's go to eBay real quick, man. Now, listen, man. This is shit that's crazy right here, man. Look at this motherfucker right here, bro. Who's that motherfucker trying to sell? Look at this, man. Buy 1500 $1,555. And the shipping cost is 440 Man, get the hell out of here with that price. This nigga right here, boy. $10,700. Are you kidding me? Who's really going to buy this shit? Look at this, man. $10,700. Are people insane? See, this... Come on, man. PlayStation, y'all are some bullshit. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what it is, man. I'm not even mad at PlayStation. See, I was mad at PlayStation. I was mad at Sony. I'm like, man, Sony... <laughs> Y'all some bullshit. But then I realized it wasn't entirely Sony's fault. It it wasn't entirely in Sony. So let me get this shit. It wasn't entirely Sony's fault, right? It wasn't Sony's fault. It was actually the retailers. So you want to hear a crazy story about GameStop today? When I called GameStop, this guy was like, "Hello, hello. my name is Mark." My name is Mark. How can I help you? I said, hey, Mark, listen. Um, hey, uh, buddy. <laughs> I didn't get a notification on the PlayStation 5. What's going on here, man? Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, see, what happened was uh, Sony, uh, they put out a receipt. And they gave us the consoles early. And they told us to release it out early. They're fucking lying, man. GameStop is full of shit. It's all because of Walmart. Motherfuckers is actually bidding on this shit, bro. People are actually going to buy this shit. 
This is insane. That has gone up to 10. See, this is what the scammers were doing. See, this is what they were doing. The scammers were doing this shit. Hold on, I gotta save this image too. Oh shit. Hold on, I gotta save this image. The scammers were doing this shit. The scammers were doing this shit, man. See, listen. I think PlayStation has a controversy, man. I really think there's some controversy going on with Sony and the marketers and the retailers, man. And I think that they did this shit on purpose. And I think possibly the retailers could be right about Sony, but they were all in on it. Just think about it, man. The people who signed up for these for this shit to get their consoles, they got screwed. Thanks a lot, Sony, you dickheads. Thanks a lot, the retailers. They're also dickheads. Because this is what they did, man. Now the people who, the actual people who actually wanted a console, don't get me wrong. Yeah, I probably would sell one. Just one, guys. But God damn it. Not no $10,700. I mean, damn, that is pretty fucking hefty, boy. That's a nice, good God. This, this month, 32. Let's see how many people bidded for this shit for the history. When did it start it from? Oh, you see what I'm saying? This guy did this shit since September the 17th. Good God, look at that. See, the, these are probably all fake accounts, man. I want to trust the ones with the... See, I'm a I'm an eBay seller. These numbers, these numbers over here are symboling like, symbolizing like how much of a good rate the seller is or if they have uh, experience in selling or buying. Now, these ones you want to go for, like the ones that's 329, these are probably real ass people trying to get this shit the ones that have an eight yeah you don't want to trust that me i got like a 1000 something but anyways good god that shit went up to nine thousand two hundred dollars the same fucking day this is how fucking insane this shit is bro ten thousand seven hundred this person is gonna be happy like a motherfucker boy well i just hope that he really get that money that is crazy insane that people are, this person's actually going to pay $10,700. See, white people, man. White people know what's up, man. I think what it is, I wouldn't be surprised if these councils, that, these councils that are selling are maybe from people who work from Sony. Sony, I guarantee you workers from Sony got their first dibs. Don't trust these, don't trust these Sony workers, man. Because these Sony workers probably got first dibs on the shit a long time ago, man. They knew what the fuck was up. They knew that the scammers was out here. They knew that they were going to participate in the scamming shit, too, and try to sell consoles for almost a mortgage payment or a half of a mortgage house and shit. Motherfuckers know what time it is, man. This is this is the time for them to get that shmoney, to get that money. He's in best benefits in charity. Get the f What charity you going to, nigga? What charities? They should. They motherfuckers is actually bidding on this shit. The benefits of charity. Hey, they were smart for that shit. Let me see what he says. Let me read this. What he says about the charity. Oh, 10% sales of this item. Oh, the charity. That's so sweet. Official eBay charity listings. Okay, so this could be true. This could be true. But how much is he giving towards charity, though? He ain't probably giving all that shit towards charity, y'all dumbass. Okay, charity. How much did he put down to charity? I want to see. See, y'all can't see this shit. See, these motherfuckers is smart. These motherfuckers is smart. They gonna say, yeah, we. I'm donating to charity. But really and truly, half of that shit ain't going to no charity. He probably, he said, yeah, I'm gonna donate to charity. That don't mean he's gonna donate the whole shit. This motherfucker's probably gonna take like 1,000, 2,000 out that bitch, man. Come on. Alright, so people just selling, they got people selling the packages now, the bundles. Do they got any business? See, nobody's trying to bid this, nobody's trying to buy this shit. See, that person that said donate to charity, people, you gotta understand, man, in white America, man, they got a heart when it comes down to shit like that, and people will donate, bro. I'm telling you. 
This is a person says, Oh he ain't donate No damn charity This motherfucker got 8,000 8,000 people Trying to buy this shit Thank you Thank you Sony Thanks a lot You assholes Thanks a lot Retailers You assholes Whoever wins I will ship the Playstation 5 On release date Look at this This You see these You see what these Mother I, Man Let me tell you something man The scammers bro the scammers is out here this season. The scammers are out here these this season, man. U.S. shipping only, no international shipping. Whoever wins, I will shit the pay, PlayStation Five on release. You see, man, he he he, he want to avoid other scammers, especially them scammers from Africa. I I from I from uh, Ghana. Give me money, and I promise you. I will send you PS5 or the other guy who has the PS5. We say, give me money and I give you PS5. Man, we y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. Shit, I'm all dyslexic. But anyways, man, this shit pissed me off, man. Shit, I was just trying to make a little bit of money. That's all. I was just trying to make a little bit of money. That's all, Sony. I wasn't expecting no eight grand, but shit, I was just trying to make like. Maybe like twelve hundred dollars. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But look, this dude is selling it for what? Okay, that's a reasonable price. That's reasonable because it might be hard to get, but nobody wants to buy that shit. Listen, man, I, uh, man. They, you see, you guys gotta know, learn the keys and what to say. Charity and raffles. When you do raffles and charities, people say, "Hey, you know." The, the one with the first winner, just keep on, you know, donating, put in $2, $3, money goes to donations, I'll do a raffle. They got a raffle shit they're doing, man. They got a raffle shit they're doing, which is smart, because if you get the raffle shit, like, hey, at the end of the night, I'm going to randomly pick somebody to get the PlayStation 5, and guess what? <laughs> They can say, hey, I'm sorry, buddy. You didn't win. Sorry, it was somebody else that won. They're not going to tell you who win. <laughs> but they just go fake the folk and not even give the shit to nobody, man. Whoever wins, I will ship. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> so much outrage. <laughs> Look at this shit. Don't buy from these people. Look at the remark. Don't buy from Don't buy from these people. I get a supply and demand. But you have to actually be out of it. See, look, man. See, eBay even do their ratings now. Do people even listen to the ratings? Let's look at my shit. Let me see if I can find my eBay. All right, I couldn't let y'all see my whole little password and shit like that. All right, so this, this, this look at let's look at my uh, Andrew hashtag twenty five. Look at let's look at my readings. Look at this. Okay, that's my bias. Let me see if anybody said anything. I got a good buyer's account, man. But anyways, man, let's talk about this shit, man. But this is ridiculous how people will actually buy this shit, man. Listen. Hold on. Listen, man. PlayStation 5 pre-orders is a mess. And it says Sony seemingly had a game plan for pre-orders, but it's quickly turned it into an online mayhem and confusion after Sony unveiled the November 12th launch date and prices for PlayStation 5 device. People were armed with less information than ever on how to get it. Sony said after the event that retailers would begin expecting Accepting pre-orders on Thursday, September 17th. Okay. 17th. It was supposed to be yesterday. Instead, they did it on the 16th on Wednesday, which was fucked up. <laughs> that was real fucked up. And PlayStation CEO Jim Ryan told the Washington Post that the decision on when pre-orders websites we would go live is up to the retailers. Uh... Pre-orders websites would go live. Oh, now, nah, well, that's bullshit. The retailers then apparently decided to do. Oh, okay, okay. So 
okay, they did do what they part. So, so my bad. Sony was right on that. But then they said the retailers then are apparently decided to do what they do on Black Friday. Yeah, they release it early because all they were thinking about is just getting their money. They didn't care about the people who actually, you know, signed up for the news and all that other shit. And they were going to go ahead and do their pre-orders online, you know, since they were loyal and they signed up for it. Instead, we got screwed in the ass. Thank you. Thank you, retailers. It's not Sony's fault. It's retailers. Retailers fucked up. They fucked up and they got a lot of angry people at them. But no, they want people to get mad at Sony. So let me tell y'all something. It is not Sony. It's the retailers. Now the retailers try to blame Sony. Say, hey, Sony told us to release it. Sony did not tell you guys to release it the day before. They said for you to release it on the day of the 17th. This should be a huge penalty. Sony needs to. But see, Sony's trying to make their money from these retailers because they're the ones that distribute their items out. Sony makes the items and, the, and then these retail stores go ahead and sell it. But listen, man. They got to be penalized for their actions. Like, listen, man, we can't do good business with you or else we're just going to end up taking the PlayStations and selling it for ourselves on our own websites where people can pre-order and buy. See, if that happens, Walmart, Best Buy, Target, GameStop will be dramatically hurt. Or just have GameStop have it. Because GameStop is actually loyal to Sony. I never seen GameStop pull some bullshit like this. I've never seen GameStop say, hey, okay, the game's gonna be released Tuesday. But we're gonna go ahead and put it Wednesday. But they would do like a pre-order selection. Okay, if you pre-order early, you can get it early on Wednesday. See? They know how to do proper protocols. That way it won't be a mess. But no. Walmart said, fuck it. <laughs> They said, fuck you niggas. We putting this shit out now because we trying to get that money. This is fucked up. Highway robbery. When Sony and retailers weren't communicating. So this is ridiculous, guys, man. So when Sony and retailers weren't communicating and relevant and information, Twitter users flocked to the account of a Warrior 64 re-owned as one of the most deal hunters and in internet for updated pre-orders and for okay but anyways man see GameStop wouldn't do something like this man it's it sucks man this is a bad communication man this is 2020 has been just some one funky ass year man it's like they're going to end up just taking this away and having it sell. You see, consoles are going to uh, eventually sell online, man. Because if retailers keep fucking up like this, man, there's going to be a lot of angry people, man. Because this, this is what you call it. You cause people to get upset now. Because people are like, well, uh, we signed up for this, even though we had the intent on selling. <laughs> but what the fuck? Like, really? So, you know what? Screw you guys. You retailers, I ain't signing up for shit. How many times these motherfuckers say, oh, go ahead and do your pre-order. Go ahead and do your pre-order. Or you you might miss out. Nigga, you ain't, we ain't missing out on shit, man. They got a whole bunch of games and shit stopped back there, man. They just trying to get their money early, man. These retailers are greedy as hell. Now people are mad and pissed off. <coughs> Imagine the, some kid right now crying right now. Their mom is kind of upset. Their father's upset because they can't get the PlayStation 5 for their kid. And they did the right protocols by signing up early. But you douchebags want to go ahead and release the ish out early, man. I can't believe I cursed a lot. So I apologize for cursing. Please don't de my ish. But PlayStation, Sony, man, I got faith in you guys, but I don't know, man. You guys got to do something special for the people who already signed up, man. Because this this is a L. <laughs> this is a L on you guys. But anyways, guys, I'm your host, Andrew 26101 Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to hit that notification button. Sign up to my gaming channel, too, below, man. 
Alright. Until then, I'm going to fuck with my Mario and save my stripper princess. I'm out. Mm-hmm.